Hi, and welcome to this week's The Bi-Weekly Show. I'm Kyle Schickner, and uh, I had planned on starting off my series, you know, slow, talking about something nice and easy, but, uh, you know, I guess like, like and Tina, I, I never do anything nice and easy. I do, I do things nice and rough. Because a couple of things came up this week that um, were connected and sort of got got my hackles all up, and it, and, and, and it has to do with um, something that I've been dealing with, and all, every bisexual out there has dealt with um, the entire time they've, they've, they've been out or not out, um, is that this whole concept that it's unsafe to date a bisexual person if you're, if you're not bisexual, although I've actually never, I, I suppose it's unsafe to date someone that's bisexual if you are bisexual, but... Uh, I'm going to deal with that at a later date. Right now, I'm sort of uh, talking about this this idea that um, that bisexuals need both to be satisfied and, and that um, being bisexual uh, sort of means that you can't be, uh, um, you can't be faithful if that's what you choose. And, and, and it really, it blows my mind. Um, one of the things that, uh, that, uh, that came up this week was uh, from a some 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 blogs and some some uh, Huffington Post uh, articles, and I know it's Huffington Post, and it's not exactly um, good reporting. But in 2013, there really is no such thing as good reporting, and it, it's from a, a group called the Straight Spouse Network. The Straight Spouse Network, and it's it's run by a woman named Amity Amity Buxton, and uh, she has been going on sort of about and with what the what the straight spouse network does i guess it gives support to uh straight spouses straight spouses specifically who whose uh partners husbands um wives have uh ended up cheating on them or leaving them for someone of the same gender and um so they 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 have to they they this 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 amity baxton horror woman um she has this group, and, and it's actually supported by a number of gay lesbian groups, which also finds I find very interesting. Um, but but from my perspective, they're not they're not uh, an alliance. Um, they're not uh, with bisexuals or queer um, safety and, and happiness at all. Um, and, and and it really, if you go on that site, and I suggest you do if you want to, if you if you're that kind of if you're so inclined and. And and check out what they're doing. And it's just sort of the support group, the sort of sort of complaining. Listen, nothing is worse. Well, there's a lot worse, but it's really bad being cheated on. It's bad being lied to. Um, and I get that. I totally get that. And if you're in a relationship and somebody lies to you and someone cheats on you, it's horrible. And that person did something very wrong. The cheating part is the very wrong part. Whether they cheated with you uh, with a with a man or a woman or someone transgender. That to me seems irrelevant. I mean, if someone cheated on me, I would. It wouldn't matter. It would be like whether it was with a guy or a girl. I would be. It would be like, well, what we had was a lie. And here's here's the here's the thing that that, that I think is the crux of this is that bisexuality is often um, used as a scapegoat. Um, people are scapegoating bisexuality. And it's used as a whipping boy of like, oh, that's why this relationship didn't work well. And it's not. It's not just gay and I mean it's not just straight uh, relationships that this this happens all the time too I have so many friends who get involved with uh, with um, people who are gay or, or lesbian and you know and they'll say oh you know they really they don't want to date someone that's bisexual they said right away I don't trust bisexuals I would never date a bisexual whilst going down the path of beginning to date a bisexual um, my, my advice would be I don't know if I'm exactly qualified to give out advice based on my romantic history but if I if I were to give advice if, if if you're out there and you start dating someone who starts with things like I would never date a bisexual I don't trust bisexuals don't date them that's you can't have a bigger warning sign than that I mean you know that that's it I don't care how sexy they are how smart they are how funny they are how turned on you get when they dance if that's what they're saying, you are you are lining yourself up for a severe heartache and stress and pain, and ultimately, even if the relationship lasts, you there will always be that that feeling of you're not 
you're not trustworthy. You're not a good person because there's that I would never date a bisexual person. And it's like you, people need look if your relationship breaks up, if you break up and that person left you for someone that's bisexual, it, don't blame the bisexual. Blame look at yourself. But it's so much easier to say, oh, I'm not bi or I'm not a guy, so I don't I don't have the parts that he wants and he's bisexual and he can't he can't be pleased with just just one gender. Um, that's bullshit. What it is, is it's like, oh, it's a lot easier to blame these scary bisexuals who are lurking around our relationships, just waiting to pounce on somebody who, who may be looking at, you know, the same gender. It's a lot easier doing that than to say, you know what? Maybe I wasn't as open emotionally as I was. Maybe sexually I closed down. Maybe I'm an asshole. Whatever it is, it's a lot easier to blame the outside than blaming yourself or looking at yourself and saying, look, he was this, this, or that, or she was this, this, and that, and that sucked. But you know what? I also contributed here, and I did this, and I did that. And I am, after 20 years almost of doing this, I am so fed up with having to defend and be scapegoated into relationships. You know what? And, and, I, and here's my advice. Every bisexual in, with, that can hear my voice, anytime you hear that, here's my feeling. This is what we say. Until... There is no more infidelity and cheating in the straight world and no more infidelity and cheating in the gay and lesbian worlds. Shut up. Because you, we don't own the, the copyright and the, and, and the licenses on all cheating. There is cheating all over the place. So until you guys can figure it out on your end, don't come blaming us. That is, that is what we need to say. And, and instead, we oh, no, we have to defend ourselves. And we have to, no, it's, we're not this way. And, you know, we, we're not all that... It doesn't matter. It, 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 there is no argument that makes sense to me as to, oh, yeah, you know, bisexuals, they are bad. You know, no, screw you. Deal with yourself. You know, so between that, you know, the Amity Buxton horror woman and, you know, there's these other things this week. There was a Dear Abby article and a Dear Lonely Hearts. And first of all, I'm amazed that in, in today's society, people are still writing Dear Abby and Dear Lonely Hearts and all that. You know... And, the, you know, my husband cheated on me with a man. And my husband, I found out he had sex with, a, you know, my, had sex with someone in college that was a man. And I didn't realize my girlfriend had, had a girlfriend. You know, all of these advice columns, you know, there's just this piling on. And as gay and lesbian, as the LGBT movement gets more acceptance, what we're going to find is the L and the G gets a lot more acceptance. And they're going to still have to find a boogeyman. Before it was just anyone that was queer. But now it's getting more accepting, and people are coming out left and right, but there still needs to be a boogeyman, and the transgender thing is a harder thing, not that people, people don't pile on transgender, but what's going to happen is people are going to start piling on bisexuality, and what's upsetting is nobody is going to our defense. GLAD doesn't do it, um, other gay lesbian um, watchdog groups don't ever really stick up for bisexuality, and bisexual men and women and, and, and people all over the bisexual and the gender continuum, but about a year ago I started, or, or longer, I started sort of as a joke because GLAD wasn't doing anything for the bisexual community. I started this thing on Facebook called Bad, Bisexuals Against Douchebags, and um, we would put people up on there that sort of belonged in that um, category uh, that GLAD would normally uh, call um, call out and saying, you're being homophobic, you're being biphobic. Um, we're just, we're doing it. So the new person that's going up on the wall of shame, as far as I'm concerned, is Amity Buxton um, of the Straight Spouse Network. Um, and any of the Dear Abby groups that, you know, that, that sort of give really stupid advice to someone who, who's been hurt and been cheated on. Um, so yes, Amity Buxton, you are now an official douchebag. Congratulations. Uh, I think it's best to try to figure out a way to help these people as opposed to finding some boogeyman in the closet that we can all, 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 all blame ourselves um, uh, or, or not blame ourselves or to alleviate our own guilt. Um, so, Amity Buxton, you are on the uh, bad hall of, wall of shame. People, I suggest writing to her, telling her, you know, how we feel. Um, and that's that's really that's what I was going to say. Just a and and as I was about to record this, uh, I you know I just found out um, you know Jason Collins uh, comes out 
the basketball player, the uh, NBA basketball player. And again, I think it's a huge uh, it's huge when people take that step. And, and I think his statements about he didn't want to be the first one, but no one else was doing it, and he needed to. Um, that's a big problem uh, with the gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender community. We can e it's easier for us to hide than let's say Jackie Robinson, uh, um, you know, being the first black uh, ball player in in baseball. Um, so, you know, real quickly, I, don't have, I didn't have a lot of time to look at what he did, but uh, really, uh, congratulations to Jason Collins and uh, our, our complete full support um, in everything he does. And, and, and so far, it sounds like he's getting a lot of support from some NBA players. And I think we're going to see a, a watershed of, of, of athletes, past and present, coming out and, and saying, yes, this is who I am, and I'm gay, and, and, and I think it's a great time uh, to, to witness that. And the final thing, I'm going to do this every week, um, has nothing really to do with bisexual politics. This is completely self-promotional, uh, um, not that everything I do isn't. Uh, here's, my, here's my weekly um, uh, search, my weekly, uh, he, this, each step I'm going to, I'm not even, I'm so nervous about talking about it, I can't even talk. My goal has always been for the last 10 years is to be on Survivor. And I've gone on a few times, I've sent in some clips. So each week I'm going to say, I need to be on Survivor, Mark Burnett, the casting guys. You've never had an open, out, bisexual character out there. Um, I think it's great for uh, ratings. I think it would be great. It would make people feel really uncomfortable. And um, the main reason I want to be on it is not because I want to uh, help society, which I do. But the main reason is I want to win. I think it is such a fun, amazing game, and I am so suited for that game. So it is uh, April 30th, 2013. My first plea to Mark Burnett and anyone out there who may know them, write emails to both Amity Buxton saying go to hell and send notes to Survivor and CBS.com saying get Kyle Schickner on there. He's be awesome for ratings. Um, again, thanks for sitting with me. It's a little longer than I wanted, um, but... People get me pissed.